Good day everyone, this is the presentation of group 2 for the performance task number 2 in GE 103 entitled Nature Pattern Groupy. Good day professor, I am Renz Ju. These right here are the 5 images that I took that has patterns. The first image has tessellation patterns. The second one has cracks. This leaf right here has the wave pattern. The fourth one has bilateral and radial symmetry for the last one. As for how mathematics relates to my work, learning and knowing mathematics is fun when we realize that it surrounds us. Mathematics can be everywhere and anywhere. For instance, a single leaf of tree already has math in it like how it is structured and its shape. There are a lot of things in our surroundings and nature that has math in their very essence. I have captured some plants and flowers which has a different pattern of the mathematics. For example, is the flame violet. It has a radial symmetry and a lagunema flower, it has a bilateral symmetry, and the tree pelodrandon, it has a bilateral symmetry, and alocasia odora has a asymmetry symmetry, and the last one is the periwinkle, it has the radial symmetry. As we learn more about our environment and surroundings, we realize that mathematics is all around us. For example, symmetry can be found in the nature. It can which may be seen as the beauty of flowers, the majesty of trees, or even the rocks we walk in. It can also be found on the animals, just like the beautiful wings of butterfly. It has a bilateral symmetry. And even in our marine creatures, just like starfish, it has a radial symmetry. Good day, my name is Luisa Vecinal and I will be presenting my five photographs. First is the dried bottle gourd which is an example of fractals pattern. Then followed by the cut down tree which is an example of a waves pattern. Then, then a mahogany which is an example of tessellations pattern. Next is a tree trunk which is an example of a crack pattern then lastly a papaya leaf which is an example of bilateral symmetry pattern explanation of the concept of mathematics to my work anyone with curiosity can decipher the numbers equations and proportions that are hidden in our nature we can easily identify a harmonic mathematical language by simply looking around we can see symmetrical fractal, spiral, and many more patterns much like in plants. There are many mathematical concepts throughout nature. Nature exhibits many of the same pattern and orders that are found in mathematics. The physical and mental benefits of mathematics and nature are similar. We can easily use mathematics to describe nature. Good day everyone, I am Kwanimiti Fernandez and I am here to present to all of you my nature pattern graphic. First here is the Neotropa pudagrica, a type of succulent plant and this photo shows its flower. The pattern present here is fractals. The next one is Begonia carolina, a plant that has a spot pattern, followed by the mushroom. This mushroom sprouts on a dead tree trunk and it has a pattern of waves that is present on the mushroom located at the bottom and the radial symmetry present at the middle one. The fourth one is the dead tree and it has a fractal's pattern. And the last one is our cat named Sunshine. He has a bilateral symmetry pattern and a striped animal pattern all over his head, legs, and tail. So, what can I say to the concept of mathematics as it relates to my work? Indeed, mathematics is present everywhere around us. No matter how little or large anything may be, whether it is visible to the human eye or not, or how 
Exactly, we may perceive something to be in its own particular patterns and appearances. Mathematics is always present in it. There's always mathematics underlying plants, rocks, trees, sands, and many other things in the universe. It is evident from mathematics that nature can be mathematically described. It is not only about pure numbers or solving mathematical problems, because there are also patterns and symmetries. With the use of mathematics, we may learn more about everything in the world as well as about our own nature. Hello! I'm Ja Petrona G. Palinas Jr. and here are my 5 photos that depicts patterns in nature. The first one is just a random leaf. Next is a fern leaf. Both of them falls under the pattern by lateral symmetry. The third one is my cat which shows animal pattern or spots pattern. So next is a snail shell which is a fractal pattern. And the last one is spider web which is an example of radial symmetry. So how can I relate my work to mathematics? Why do you think mathematics became the language of physics? Well, that's because math is all about precision and accuracy. And my work, or generally this performance task, clearly shows the accuracy of pattern in nature, strongly implying that Mother Nature itself can do mathematics. And for our final five nature pattern copy, we have the Calatea, which has a wave pattern, a rose with a Fibonacci spiral pattern, a grass with a fractals pattern, and a Bloody Mary as well as La Suerte plant both of which have bilateral symmetry patterns. And that's all for our nature pattern group. Thank you for listening.